Hello, it's me James, and welcome back to another episode of Simply Survival. This is the series where I like to show you tips, tricks, and tutorials, and of course, I like to do this in complete survival. So, in today's episode, I'm going to be showing you how to make a really resource-friendly, very quick piglin trading system. This uh, little farm system thing is, like I said, very, very quick to build, very resource-friendly, and to be fair, what you get back from it is pretty insane. Now, due to the 1.16.100 update, some of the trades um, with piglins have been nerfed. So, for example, uh, ender pearls, I think they've gone down to a 50% chance of you getting them. So, they're even more rare to get. And the amount of, um, of them you actually get is down to 2 to 4 instead of 4 to 6, if that makes sense. Whereas before, um, you would have got 4 to 6. Now, you only get two to four which is uh make, makes it a little bit more difficult when it comes to speed running however uh, i mean when you're just making a farm it's not too bad so that being said let's just jump straight on into today's video all right so to be fair i haven't even got myself a like a nether hub set up but there is a pigling down there i mean i don't want to be near a pigling right now well i kind of do actually because we are going to need piglins for this farm obviously should i build it down there somewhere near that pigman farm or something um, I, I mean, it's really quick to build. I'm probably going to move this anyway. So, you know what? We'll just go ahead and build it down here. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, God. This was a bad idea. Why? Why have I done this? Why do they hate me still? I haven't put my gold farm on in so long. Oh, damn. <laughs> this is the worst idea. Run. Okay, so I've decided to build it up here. It seems a little bit safer. Okay, so the items you are going to need for this farm are as followed. You are simply going to need six blocks of choice. Make sure they are solid blocks. Again, bring yourself one piece of soul sand. I'm fairly certain this can be a solid block as well. Or a gravity block, like a normal piece of sand or something. Basically, we're going to put the minecart inside it. Um, so, yeah, I just picked soul sand. Uh, also, bring yourself two chests, eight pieces of glass, a sticky piston, bring yourself four pieces of redstone, two redstone torches, two levers, one redstone repeater, a minecart hopper, a normal hopper, one dispenser, and a block of gold. Again, this can be just like the ore that you find in the nether, so that could be a little bit cheaper for you. In addition to this, you are going to need... Um, some gold to actually get this thing started and there is a pretty good uh, little tip to help you get the actual piglins in the farm Using a little bit of gold as well, which I'm going to show you and you're going to need a piston of any kind Just to get your minecart inside the farm so we can go ahead and do that And of course you're going to need a rail, but you are going to be able to get those back and uh, um, Just another torch to simply power up that piston all right, so first of all, step one, what you're going to want to do is grab your solid blocks of choice and simply place them in this formation like so and remove that middle block. After you have done this, you simply want to grab your redstone, your torches and your repeater, grab your levers as well. Then you simply want to place redstone at the front just there, a redstone torch on the back of the block and a redstone repeater facing this way okay no i faced it the wrong way facing this way as you can see it will make a little clock like that then you can go ahead and actually uh place a lever on the side to stop that going next what you want to do is grab your piston the only piston of the build uh and you want to place that just there like so grab your block of gold or ore and place that on the front of the piston and that is pretty much step one complete all right, next, what you're simply going to want to do is grab your chest, place one on top of that piece of gold there, and place another one um, next to it just so it makes a double chest. Then, of course, you can get your hopper and face it in the back of that just there. So from here, what I would do is just place a little block on the floor so you can see the uh, top of that hopper. Grab your actual rail and just crouch space and place that there like so. What you're going to need to do is grab your soul sand or normal sand, whatever sand you've picked, and also your minecart, and then simply you want to place the minecart on top there like so. And now we're going to need a couple holder blocks, and then we're going to place our soul sand just there like so. We can get rid of these holder blocks right now. You may need some more holder blocks just to get the piston facing in the right direction. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this just here, and I'm going to go up like this 
and basically I'm going to crouch space and we want the piston facing downwards so we're going to get our temporary piston and place the piston downwards like so all we're going to need to do now is simply activate the piston but before we do that we need to actually go ahead and remove the track so you're never going to be able to get it down there again i've just completely moved the minecart so you might want to go ahead and just you know move that back in the position like so and of course if you manage to keep breaking it like this you can always make a new one so you can just make one you don't even need a crafting table and we can go and do that step again and now it's here of course you can see the track you're going to need to remove the track so it's just sitting on top of the uh minecart like so now what we need to do is actually push that block inside of the minecart basically reason we're using a hopper minecart on top of a normal hopper is because it's a little bit faster at the collection system so all we need to do is simply power this and to do that i think we can just put a torch here yeah that's right but before um you obviously depower that you want to break this because it's a sticky piston of course if you're using a normal piston you should be uh good to go then you can remove any unnecessary blocks again you don't really want to move that like i just did um so try and not move it too much but for the most part it should be okay i always do bad let me try and push that in right now all right that should be okay kind of oh no <laughs> Right, let me sort this out. Now what we want to do is just make sure that guy does not push that minecart. Please don't do that. And simply come to the back of the build. Place a holder block just here for you to get on top. Place another torch on top like so. And on top of that torch without touching the minecart like I just did. Place another solid block like that. And then we simply want to grab our redstone and jump up and place a piece of redstone on top of there okay so once you've done this part you want to grab yourself another block to stand on i'm just going to grab this block and simply place in fact no i need this block let me grab that right now you want to go ahead and place a block on the side of this redstone just there like so then you can grab your dispenser crouch space well i don't even think you need to crouch space you just want to face it towards that like so this is going to dispense our gold um and our piglins are going to pick it up um of course so now we need to grab some glass i'm going to go ahead and put a piece of glass just here again you could uh surround this so you don't keep knocking it probably advise you to do that i'm going to put a holder block just here to uh start placing my glass all the way around here so uh, we're going to seal those piglins in again i'm going to make a path up there somewhere to actually get them in and i'll uh, show you uh how to do that hopefully we can find some i mean of course now i'm recording um yeah i'm not gonna be able to find any <laughs> but uh fingers crossed so yeah from here what we can actually do is we're gonna need to put some redstone on this thing right this dispenser and we can go ahead and do that we also want to go ahead and place these blocks of glass here like so remove this and now we've got this final block just for the top but first of all we need to wait till the piglins are in and then we can just put it on the edge of that redstone just there so for the most part this is actually complete um all we need now is the actual piglins so um also we have an additional lever right what i do with this lever sometimes is put it here now i did this on the old farm i didn't have this minecart on the old farm as well basically the reason i put this here is to lock this so all the gold doesn't straight away go in here but for the most part i think the piglings pick it up straight away so well, i mean you can have this here if you want and if you do want that there you are going to need a solid block just to go in front of that hopper but i think what i'm going to do is leave it off for now and just see how it goes and right now i am going to try and grab myself some piglings Actually, first of all, what I'm going to do is make a path up. So uh, when I do find some piglins, I've got an easy path for them to follow me, right? Right, we need to find some piglins. Here, little piggy, 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 piggy. Here, little piggy, 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 piggy. There's one. Hey, that's perfect. Right, we got this, we got this. No, 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 follow me, piglin. Yes, this is perfect. So, you want to make sure you've got some gold in hand. This is going to come in very big handy for you. Ah, he's very, very close. I didn't think he was that close. Ah, don't fall in your farm. And you want to make sure... Oh, no, he's going to jump up at me. Make sure you, he can't get you. Ah, he's going to get me. Basically, I've changed my button, which is to drop gold on the floor. You're basically going to want to 
Um, throw him some gold. I'm gonna die. This is not good. No! God damn it, he stole my Elytra. Alright, dude. Hey! Oh, there's another one up there. Give me my stuff back. Let's go! Right, don't let that guy steal any of my stuff. No! Damn it, dude! Why do you do this to me? Give my stuff back. Alright, we got my stuff back. Right, the joys of moving piglins. Right, I think we've got the majority of my stuff back. Right, let me let me just change my buttons. Basically, you want to know which one it is to drop items. This is going to be a lot easier for you. Let me let me go ahead and go on uh, controllers. Keyboard and mouse. And we're going to change drop item to uh, Q. Okay, I changed it because I kept doing it on a speed run. But right now, we, ne we need to uh, be able to drop items. So, we're going to have to find a new piglin. Long piglin, where are you? Ah! Leave me alone. Leave me alone. There be the piglins. So, I mean, I suppose it was a good thing that I died. This will, um, I mean, now you know. Don't die to a piglin. They will steal your stuff. Let's go! Another tip for you guys. Always eat. Right, I'm going to put my Elytra in here before I uh, activate this uh, master plan. Right, so you want to get your gold in hand. All right. And you want to go here. And then... Hey, no, don't set on fire! Throw some gold, okay? When they're up here. Come up here, man. Hey, dude, come up here. Ah! Don't fall off like that. Hey! Dude, no! No! What are you doing? Are you stupid pig? Come on, man. No! Damn it. A piglin! Come on! We can do this. Follow me. No, gas. Leave me alone. Let's go! Right, this is it. Don't go in the fire. Follow me. Perfect. Don't go in the fire. Run. Yes. Come on. Hey, piggy, piggy, piggy. Come on, piggy, piggy, piggy. No gas. How is this happening again? How the... Not my form. No. Damn it. How is this... No. Please don't die. Please. Oh, my. Please. Please don't die. Please don't die. And now, once you've got them, you've got about 20 seconds to push him in. Yes! Yes! Finally! You know what? I'm just going to put that one in and... Yes! Before anything bad happens. I'm so happy right now. See? Never give up. We finally did it. Finally. Haha! -ha! We win. Right, now what you need to do <laughs> is basically just remove any unnecessary blocks like these ones. And that is pretty much the farm complete. Of course, you're going to want to uh, get a couple piglins in. I'm going to just put one in right now. Yeah, you're going to want to put a couple of piglins in there. Um, that's always uh, going to do you a little bit better. And I'd probably name tag those as well. Um, just in case they do happen to despawn. I mean, a couple of mob issues in the uh, latest update. So, um, when we fill this up with gold, let me go ahead and uh, throw any gold that I've got in it. And, of course... Let me just check that that gas didn't break my farm. Alright, no, it's cool. And then, we can just turn this on. So yeah, now we can just literally um, turn this farm on. So, we want to go ahead and do that. As you can see, it will start trading. And they will build up here. But they'll come here. You'll collect a little bit of gold. That's what I put this lever here for, to uh, lock it so it doesn't do it. For, but for the most part, you actually get um, pretty uh, good stuff. And uh, pretty fast as well. Again, um, since the new update, let me just go over here so it's not too loud. Since the new update, it actually has been nerfed. So you're getting uh, a lot less rarer items. Although, like I said, if you've got many piglins in there, you're not going to really notice a huge, huge difference. So that is literally the end of today's episode. Again, I do hope that this helps you out in your world. It's a very simple, um, very easy to build. Apart from the piglin bit, I mean, that was a little bit difficult. But this is perfect for a startup piglin trading farm. Again, I will catch you on the next one.